Hey there, and welcome into this quick live. So, I finally went ahead and updated my website. I'm going to go ahead and update all of the videos or the lives that I've posted so far and put the corresponding link to the reading that you can now purchase on my website. Um, but I just wanted to come and give a quick little uh, reading to sort of promote that and say that. Um, yeah. So I hope you're having a great week so far. Uh, as always, I can't see if people have joined, so if you join, or if you, if there's somebody in the room now, hello and welcome. But my intention, just to uh, make it clear, is to just announce that I've updated my website. I will update this video with the link at the end, but also just to come in and give a, a quick little energy read. And so we're going to do things a little bit differently. It's going to be a general read. Uh, which means it's not personal. Uh, even though a lot of things can resonate for you, there are likely multiple people who are going to come in across this video, so there will be multiple sort of energies that I'm uh, tapping into. Um, we're going to go ahead and use the tea cards to see what comes out in past, present, future. Then we're going to see in terms of your opportunities, challenges, and how to overcome them. And hopefully we're going to keep this quick. So I'm actually going to put a timer on because I know I can be pretty um, verbose. I don't know if that's the right word. It could be a chatty cat. So without further ado, let's go ahead and clear the energy and see what wants to come out. Also welcome in my spirit guides. All right, so where do we want to start? We want to start with tea cards. may come across this video, please, some of their uh, past energies, past energies so that we can just understand the situation a little bit more. Do I want to see them? Okay. Past energies so that we can better shed some light and advise on how to approach them. That one came right out. Let's see. Lightning. Control your anger or you will be very sorry. Okay, so that might be a past energy. Any more from the past? Yeah, okay. Let's see. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. Barrel. Okay, I'm going to put these in a row. And then Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Uh-oh, so that doesn't seem like too great of an energy. If you're dealing with that or you just have deal dealt with that, uh, I'm feeling called to switch stats real quick. So let's see um, present energy. Ooh, that's exciting. Okay. New job or career. Present energies for whoever may come across this. Sorrow over a loss. Okay. Present energies. One more, please. Okay, that's two, but I'm still taking the top one. Of course, a short journey. Okay. And then finally, future energies regarding the situation. Thank you. Caterpillar, things will not always be this way, a change is coming. Okay, so that sort of goes well in line with new job and career. You might also be traveling with this new job. Uh, future energy, please, for whoever may come across. Thank you. Gavel, involvement with the law. Okay, so that might be the loss that we're talking about here. Yikes. That one wanted to go off the floor, but I just stopped it. Dragon, beware of self-delusion. All right. This is a pretty intense energies here. And then at the bottom of the deck, a change for the better. Okay, so as always, my intention is to not sit in the denser energies, but try to find our way to the lighter ones and understand what might be going on here. So in the past, if you might have been angry or gotten yourself into a situation where you felt lack um, or dealt with somebody who was arrogant or boastful, you're moving on from that even though you may be experiencing a loss. Um, you might have to travel for whatever this new job or career is. But like it said at the bottom of the deck, it's a change for the better, okay? Things won't always be this way. That's interesting. So we have caterpillar here and then a the butterfly at the bottom, a change for the better, okay? Goal-oriented person. So this might have to do with your goals, okay? 
this change for the better, I, I'm, I'm getting a court case with this involving the law with the gavel, so maybe you have a court case going in your favor, um, but beware of self-delusion with the, with the dragon here. And I think it's interesting that we have an arrogant, boastful person in your past, and beware of self-delusion sort of in your future. Hmm. Let's get a couple of affirmations or some, some positive words that we can use to work through this situation. Because right now, if you're looking for or you're feeling like you need a new job, a new career, that might be part of the loss that you're experiencing as well, like a temporary setback in your career. Let's get some, some good advice. Oh, that's really interesting. So I just got extremely warm. Some advice for whoever might come across this message. Failure again. Interesting. So this came out in the last message that I did. I sort of did on live for Facebook. Failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Very interesting. So that the fact that that came out again tells me that whoever's watching this message, that's a mantra or that's something you a perspective you need to take an energy that you need to embody, understanding that, you know, mistakes are just opportunities to learn. And then at the bottom, while I'm speaking through this, is grief in reverse. Grief in reverse is happiness, and then literally, <laughs> happiness, okay? Or not, I wouldn't say grief in reverse is happiness. Grief, grief would be content, grief in reverse would be contentment, right? Be content with what you have. Um, but it says here, grief, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Okay, so appreciation might be the opposite of grief. Okay, so failure, appreciation, and happiness. So what I'm understanding from this is, and yeah, now we have clarity, okay, with indecision in reverse, okay? So what I'm understanding from this is in the past you might have felt like you made a mistake or had dealings with an arrogant, boastful person that caused you to be angry and now created a, a, a situation where there's lack in your love, in your life, in your goals, in your money, whatever that is. Uh, you're currently in this energy of trying to appreciate what you have. Oh, I never started the timer. Okay, so we'll just see where it goes. <laughs> um, but I, I just looked over. The timer is 13, so that might be um, a number for you to be aware of. Um, but interesting, grief in reverse, I'm reading as appreciation, so you might, you might be, yeah, and then we have loss as well, interesting. You might be doing a little bit of introspection and having appreciation for what you already have, so that you can then move on with that appreciation, with that gratitude towards this new career, towards this new change. Sorrow over a loss. Look at the sim wow, look at the similarities here with the the wreath and then the grief um, mandala. Striking. And so with this color, uh, this orange color representing the solar plexus chakra, this is your power center. So yeah, in order to sort of fuel this new opportunity, this way forward, you sort of have to muster up the strength. Uh, in appreciation for what have what might have been lost and you know what's interesting is this short journey here with the horse I just got going down memory lane so you might not actually be going on a physical journey or if you are going on a journey it might just be like um, to places that you used to frequent right if you moved so, uh, away from somewhere okay and so to get let's not you know stick too much in the past and the present energies to get over to this, this happiness right Let's sit in this happiness energy and uh, sort of affirmation you can use is, I'm aware that being happy means I'm on the right path. And then we have this sort of vortex of dolphins going on here. And I just got like this, you know, the, the sound of like that happy, uh, high-pitched squeak that they have. And there's, you know, there's different ones that, the, that dolphins use for communication, but you can always tell the one that's joyful, the one that's happy, when they're, you know, like bounding out of the water and that's... That's sort of the energy that I'm getting, is that uplifted, excited, buzzy sort of energy. Um, and that's where I believe you 
you're being encouraged to sit or you're trying, you're being encouraged to reach towards that sort of joyfulness um, that can't be contained because, you know, anything involving the law and anything that feels like a change that is uncomfortable, right? You, you have to look towards the light. You have to look towards that end state to sort of make it through. And I'm going to go ahead and bring the caterpillar out because it, that just sort of stuck out to me. The, the caterpillar that undergoes its transformation into the butterfly, it, it's an uncomfortable transformation, right? It's painful. They turn into goo in their chrysalis, in their cocoon, and then, you know, form their wings. And then they have to actually inflate their wings and unfurl them to finally, you know, bring energy into into their final form. So there's, there's, there's significance around sitting in what that future state is going to be, even if where you're at right now is not the most comfortable. Okay? And so how can we do that? Let's get a couple crystals just to close it out. I don't know how long this has been, but if, like I said, if you're here in the room right now, welcome. Um, thank you for watching this general energy read. Again, some tough energies, but that, that seems part and parcel for um, the astrology and, and just the energies of the overall human collective right now. Okay, so we're being encouraged to get up and get moving and to get back into balance. And that didn't pop out, it just felt like I needed to read it. Yeah, and then literally it popped out. <laughs> um, get up and get moving with bloodstone. And I'm particularly getting heart circulation, blood circulation. So be careful if you're out, you know, just take a look at the weather forecast and just make sure that you are not in an area that is impacted by these, uh, the smoke condition. Um, and if you can safely get out and get moving, then definitely do that. But obviously there are other ways that you can get out and get moving. But this is to me really saying um, circulation and actual movement of your blood, movement of your body will help you move through this sorrow, help you move through whatever this grief feeling is in an appreciative, in a, in a gratitude sort of mindset. Um, I don't know why the words passion of the Christ just came to me. So you might be um, particularly religious, you might be of you know the Christian faith, uh, and Bloodstone is a, um, well-known, or not well-known, I shouldn't say that, it, it, it's often associated with religion and with Christianity and with Catholicism, so that's interesting that that just sort of popped out to me. Um, I, I guess I'll sort of explain, uh, with get up and get moving, the red representing the blood is actually red jasper, and in this deck, the red jasper card uh, calls for us to take action, and again, that just gets the idea of getting your blood pumping, getting your, getting, getting, you know, getting it moving. <laughs> um, but also, it, the red representing the blood of Christ when it, when we sort of talk about more religious things. So I don't know who that's for, but that's for somebody, a sort of confirmation that this might be your message. And then, interesting that we're bloodstone, obviously, but uh, I stopped on Garnet, Ignite Your Passion, which also came out earlier this week, but a really sort of blood red, deep, um, deep energy stone is what I'm getting. Like these are, red being the color of the root chakra, uh, these are, you know, foundational sort of energies that we're talking about here. So if you can get your hands on bloodstone um, for balancing, as you get up and get moving, but also igniting uh, forward movement out of this sorrow in appreciation, right? That'll be all more better. Anything else? Yeah, hello, transformation with Malachi. And so whoever's been watching these videos, there's no, there's no accident that I'm still, you know, sort of tapping into that same group of people and that these same cards want to come out. So that I'm not going to say that maybe you haven't been <laughs> heeding the advice, but um, maybe this is just to sort of confirm to you that, yeah, this is for you. If you're seeing this again, this is for you, right? Get your hands on some malachite and get ready for transformation. I'm actually going to put that there because this is a, this is not, and then with, yeah, okay, let me not get ahead of myself. I just saw an anatomical heart, whoops, out of this malachite card, right? And so it's no accident that the last time this card came out I spoke about a heart transformation a heart transformation a heart chakra expansion and that's exactly what's happening here with 
blood that flows through your heart, right? You are foundationally transforming how you take action, how you get out and get moving in, in your world. And for a lot of people, how you show up in your world is like <laughs> your job, <laughs> your career, right? So that whoever's um, this message is for, whoever's energy I'm tapping into, and now I'm getting excited, that's funny. Um, you might be looking forward to this. You might be aware of this. It might be something that you're sensing inside, but you just couldn't put words to it. You knew that there's something new coming, that there's a big transformation, but you just weren't aware of what area of your life it's going to happen in. Again, no, no mistakes that I stop on Green Aventurine, which also came out in a different deck, um, but all about creating your own luck. Okay? Creating your own luck, creating your own happiness. So those are three stones, three crystals that you can work with. Um, and if it isn't obvious enough, this, this is green. So if you aren't getting your greens in, if you don't work with crystals, but you want to work with the energies, um, if you aren't getting your greens in, right, your dark leafy greens, maybe step that up. Um, you can even put them in smoothies if you're not into that. Um, you know, eating green vegetables. You can also, um, wow, I just lost the grapes. Apples, you know, get get the green frequency or energy in, in different other ways. Um, I also, excuse me, always like to recommend whenever green cards come out or, you know, the green sort of healing energy comes out, which is uh, representative of Archangel Raphael and the green healing ray. Um, I always like to remind people that you can soak that energy in just by going underneath the story or underneath the canopy of trees and allowing the sunlight to filter through. That sort of dappled sunlight actually filters through this sort of green healing ray of energy that is incredibly restorative. All the more better if you can, I just got confirmation chills, all the more better if you can do that with um, no shoes on, right, completely grounded. Okay, so we have some good crystals. Uh, eat your greens, get your green energy in, connect with nature to help you through um, this new, trans this transformation and this new job. Let go of this past where there was anger, where there was failure, where there was arrogance, right? Where there was lack. We don't need that anymore. We can learn from that opportunity, right? We're learning from it through appreciation. This came out in reverse. So we're learning from it through appreciating what we already have, the opportunities that are already in front of us, and then we're sort of moving on from that. So I just got horse galloping, moving on from that to this new career, okay? Carefully being aware not to sit in self-delusion, but also being aware that big changes are coming and happiness is in our favor. So just to close it out, I just want one interesting horse, horse freedom, okay? I just want one animal card, please, spirit. So whoever's watching this, thank you. All right. Swan Grace, yeah. So this is a difficult transformation. It's difficult energy to work through. It's difficult to swallow your ego. It's difficult to be involved with the law and be the caterpillar. Transforming all of that requires a, a sort of a certain that words. <laughs> all of that requires a certain level of grace, right? And so we have swan here with grace. And just like a swan glides swiftly, I'm trying not to use gracefully, but. Wow, where are my words? Glides gracefully across the surface of the water. Beneath the surface of the water, its little feet are kicking. And moving, moving, moving. So there's something here to be said about the work that's being done to get you to this new place of grace, of calm, of, of peace in your life is what I'm really getting. Wow, okay, I haven't read this card before. And lo and behold, you, who glides across the waters of my soul, Bring me your wisdom and light. Help me transform into elegance and grace. Inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty. Okay? So, there's really something to be said about, and oh, it's appreciation, yeah. I just got, the, again, confirmation chills. Um, 
there's you are being appreciated for the kicking and the fast legs and all of the work that's being done beneath the water to to make it appear as though you are coasting and moving swiftly with great with grace gliding with grace but your spirit guides and most importantly or more not most importantly but more particularly um, this animal spirit guide the swan wants to come through and say I see you I see you trying to move with grace I see you trying to transform with elegance and that they're inspired by your dignity and that you have a spirit of beauty throughout this transformation, even if it feels uncomfortable, okay? So this is a big message for whoever you know comes across this because these are some um, uncomfortable energies. But to have a, a guide come forward and say, they see you, you're doing just fine, keep it up, not much more that you could want out of that, okay? So create your own luck. Get up and get moving. You already know it's time to transform. I'm talking to an air sign, potentially. Let me get a little bit more. Well, the last time I asked for specifics, oh, they gave me only generals. So, <laughs> anybody else who this message might be right sized for? Right sized for confirmations. Ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's crazy. Just one. Just one. You want me to count? Fine. One, two, three. Oh, there we go. There's already one flipped over. So you might be an air sign or you might be a Taurus. Uh, take all of these messages as they resonate and I hope you found this helpful to you. Okay, I hope this gave you some hope, some good vibes for whatever you might come across in the week ahead. All right. Also, please do check out those links if you're interested in a personal read. All right, take care and have a wonderful day.